Let's talk about adjusting the zero on the Revic PMR. So with the Revic PMR, uh, it's just like any other scope mechanically. If you turn the computer off or leave the computer off, it's like everything works just like a normal scope. So when you first get a rifle set up and you've mounted the scope, the first thing that you do is you set the zero. And that means we gotta adjust the scope turrets and slip the turrets so the zero represents zero when the rifle's shooting right on. So it, it's, it's a straightforward process just like any other rifle scope. We have one caveat. Our turrets are semi-toolless. I, I like to say toolless, but technically we're gonna use a bullet to adjust. But the turrets are very different than any other rifle scope on the market. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that just a little bit and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're gonna do a quick uh, overview of how this turret adjusts. Essentially, uh, let, let's just use my current situation as our perfect example. I shot, I'm one minute low, and I need to adjust up one minute. So it's pretty easy. If I dial up one minute, so four clicks up, uh, pretty easy to follow. My reticle just moved. If I shoot again, I would have a group that's exactly where we want it. So uh, I know that this is the right adjustment. So I need my zero slipped to that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the turret. So now it doesn't turn. And then on the top here, I've got a little detent ball and I've got engage and disengage. So I'm gonna disengage with the bullet tip. So turn, slides over. See the little unlock right here on the side? So now I'm unlocked. Now, if we turn this turret, you'll feel that there's no clicks whatsoever. So we've completely disengaged from the uh, uh, adjustment mechanism. But you'll notice that if you turn all the way to the bottom, there's still a stop. And so that's your zero stop. So we've got our zero stop and our uh, zero that line up here. So I'm gonna turn it to the zero stop and then I'm gonna reach back up and I'm gonna engage. So push the button down and then just slide it back around the corner. So what that does is it connects the turret back to the adjustment mechanism. So I'm at zero, I'm engaged. So if I lift my turret back up, now when I dial to the bottom, I hit my stop right there. So. I just adjusted my turret up and then reset my zero at zero. So if anybody has any other scope out there with a zero stop and they've gone through the process of setting that up, usually you got three or four different wrenches and you're taking stuff apart and you're turning all these knobs and screws and it's very tedious to get those set. This is a very expensive system, it's, but it makes it a lot simpler for the custom. It kind of represents the PMR rifle scope in general. It's very complex but the user experience is very simplified, very elegant. So let's just back that up and let's do it in reverse. What if I need to adjust the scope down because it's a slightly different process. If I'm gonna adjust the scope down, so let's say I'm a minute high, I'm at zero, I would lock the turret. So I didn't adjust. I would lock the turret, then I would disengage, then I would dial to the minute mark, and then I would engage the turret again and now when I lift it up and I dial it to the zero, I'm actually clicking. So I'm dialing it back down a minute. So either you go up or you go down. It's very similar. The difference is if you're gonna adjust up, you click before. If you're gonna adjust down, you slip the turret and then click after. So it's very similar. Um, and again, it's so simple, sometimes you can confuse yourself thinking about how easy it is. But it, it's a straightforward process and it's really representative of how elegant the PMR is and how simple the customer experience is. This is the Revic PMR and that is how to adjust your zero.